old. Another man who died with COVID-19 over the weekend is being described by his family as larger than life. His name was Jerry McLean, and if the measure of a man can be summed up with the people he's left behind, then McLean certainly measured up. News Center Maine's Sam Rogers has the story from Cherry Field. Love connects people in mysterious ways. For Carla, her life changed when Jerry McLean walked into her grocery store and chatted with her coworker. You know, he's just so cute. I just like just, you know, and he was very personable and everything and she hooked us up and it was like love at first sight. For more than a decade, Carla tried to match Jerry's enthusiasm and personality. He's just outgoing, happy-go-lucky. He's just he was amazing. He was an angel on earth. He just loved people in general. He loved everybody. He would give the shirt off his back to anybody. He didn't know a stranger. He was super generous, like loving, kind. More than a week ago, this kind and loving man tested positive for COVID-19. His hands are always warm. They were always toasty warm and, you know, he was just like a furnace. So when his hands and feet got cold, I knew there was something not right. Doctors told Jerry to go to Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor. Dropped him off thinking that he was coming home and I didn't even get to kiss him goodbye. Things got worse quickly. Oh, Jerry was transferred to Maine Medical Center in Portland, where he was put on a ventilator. But despite the best efforts by his doctors and nurses, Jerry McLean passed away over the weekend. His life was cut too short too short and he had a lot of life left to go and this virus stole that from him. Because of COVID-19 protocols, Deandra and her eight other brothers and sisters had to say goodbye over a Zoom call. It was like one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, honestly. I never thought that first that I would be saying goodbye to my father, but then saying goodbye from like a computer. Every day we present you numbers and data about COVID-19. But as the families of the 189 Mainers who lost a loved one to the virus will remind you, each number has a name. This virus is very real. That's for sure. Don't assume that it won't happen to you because it can. We did assume that. We did think that, you know, it would never hit home. It did. Now, this family is turning their story of loss into a message of caution. If nothing else comes out of this, know that it is serious and it can happen. It can happen. To anybody. To anybody. In Cherryfield, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.